Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Business Minute. I'm here today. I'm Sir, and I'm joined with Miss Tanisha McKenzie. How are you today, ma'am? I'm fine, and yourself? I'm all right. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Now, Miss Tanisha, if you would, would you tell us the name of your business? The name of my business is Salon de la Creme. All right. And how long have you been active? I've been active as a hairstylist for the last 23 years, but I've been in my own business since 2000, well, the past five years. Okay. All right. So let me ask, uh, seeing that you, you've been doing hair for the last uh, 20 plus years, what, insti- what inspired you to start off on your own? Well, I actually have a cousin in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. When I was growing up, when we went to visit, I always sat with her in her salon, and I just admired how she was able to come and go as she pleased. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I understand that. And I do have a passion for hair. I've always played around in it, but... Uh, upon seeing her do her thing is what inspired me to, to do me. Okay, okay. Now, uh, along getting started, you know, in those first few years, were there any obstacles that you did encounter? Yes, there are many obstacles that I encountered, being that I'm not from Mobile, Alabama, hmm. and graduate from high school here, so I was not really known in you know, in this community, so I've had obstacles along the way of building clientele because in this world, it's, it's kind of by, it's by word of mouth, but if they don't know you, they don't really support you. So. <laughs> okay, no, I, no, I definitely understand. It is a, a community-minded city, so I, right. I, I, I get you there. So let me ask you, because I know, you know, Working a salon and especially being an entrepreneur can be a, an all-day task. Uh, how do you manage to balance work and your personal life? That has been a problem sometimes along the way because I do have to pay the bill. I um I opened up on Saturdays and I mean I'm sorry Sundays and Mondays, but a lot of other hours don't. So that mm. kind of leaves me. Uh, a little freedom to make time for my personal life when it's needed. Okay, okay. I understand that. Now, um, with being in this business, was there any experience throughout the years that you find to be the most memorable of all? The most memorable of all was hair shows that I've been involved in. Oh, okay. Uh, They don't happen as often anymore, but the hair shows back in the day, (laughs) they were what was happening in Mobile at the time. It's true. It's true. I've actually been to one before. (laughs) I remember that. All right. Uh, And that brings me to my next question. Uh, On the flip side of things, at any point in time, did you feel that you wouldn't be successful? And if so, who or what changed your mind? Success is measured by an each individual, right? That's true. Uh, I feel I'm successful because I'm still open. My bills get paid. I still have clientele. Whatever the God sends me my way is what's meant for me. Mm. And that's how I've always operated. I may not have the biggest clientele in Mobile. I may not be the most popular hairdresser in Mobile. But as long as I can satisfy and service the people that God sends my way and make them happy, then I'm happy. Okay. All right. And uh, my next question is more of a long-term question. So where would you like to see yourself in your business in one year, three years, and then 10 years? Well, one year, I would like to see my salon finish the renovations that I'm doing. (laughs) (laughs) Within the three to 10 years, I want to be able to just come in and do my clientele that I do, but I want to sit back and let some younger girls get the experiences that I did come a little up in 
the hair game is not calling it. <laughs> yes, all right. Well, I, I definitely respect that, given an opportunity to the younger generation. That definitely does go a long way. Um, kind of your way of giving back uh, to the way that you were started. You know, you come in and you just observe and learn and absorb all that knowledge. So that's that's an excellent idea. All right. Yeah. And this last question, which will wrap us up, I always dedicate to the person listening out there. So I want to ask. What words of encouragement would you have for that person out there who's just getting started? To follow your passion. If you truly have the passion to do hair, you will go further than what you will imagine. Um, Do not be discouraged or give up. We are the only people that deal, that put hands on besides doctors in the medical field, nurses and stuff, that put our hands actually touching an ind- another individual. Always have passion, care for your client, need, their hair needs, and we are also kind of like psychiatrists. <laughs> they tell us, well not psychiatrists, psychologists, they tell us all their business. Keep their business to you because they will tell you some things that you have never heard before. Yeah, and you're, you will succeed far. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right because that's exactly what happens on the other end in the barber shop. You definitely will hear <laughs> all sorts of conversations that you wouldn't normally hear. You know, so I, right. I fully agree with you there. All right. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, Miss McKenzie, uh, if anyone wanted to get in contact with you or even see your work or maybe see you at the shop, is there any way that they could get in contact with you? Yes, I have a salon page, Facebook page, Salon de la Creme. Uh, my salon is located across the street from Hart's Chicken on DIP, next to Bishop State. Okay. It's 821 Dolphin Island Parkway, 366. Zero six. All right. Well, Miss McKenzie. This, this Sunday, I will be having a spoken word poetry event at my salon. So hmm. if you would like to come through, the door is open at 6 30. I also do spoken word. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, I'm trying to uh, make a little extra, but also that's another passion of mine. Is okay. I'm using my salon as a poetry venue. No, that's, that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I, I commend you on that. Thank you. Yes. Well, Miss McKenzie, uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you again for the opportunity to tell your story. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, no problem.